I'm Vern Kirk with ProGrain Equipment and beside me here is our B1610. Today I'm going to run through a few of the features that's offered with the B1610 and to start with this this bagger is a 10 foot bagger and it offers two options to fill it. One is the hopper or the conveyor or auger inlet. The hopper can be used to fill the bags with a combine or a grain cart and the inlet can be used with an auger or a conveyor if you're filling the bagger with trucks. We're going to run through uh, some of the other features here. Uh, there's a 16 inch auger, direct drive, PTO shaft goes straight onto the end of the auger. Our hopper system has a grain sampler on it. You hang a pail on the hook, you adjust the slide or the chute for the commodity that you're bagging and it takes a continuous sample as you fill the bag. The B1610 offers a control panel that with an oversized brake pressure gauge. This is so that it can easily be seen when you're pulling up to the grain bagger so you can maintain a consistent brake pressure when filling your bag. The other things that you can control here is the toggle switch for the winch. This is also a plug-in for the remote for the winch. Your flashing lights and your bag pan up and down. Your bag pan has, on the B1610 has electric actuators and they're easily adjusted with a with the toggle switch on the control panel. The safety stairs and platform are large enough to be super safe when you're up top here dealing with any bag issues up at the top of the tunnel. ProGrain equipment uses a cradle system to put our bag onto the tunnel on all our models. In this particular model, the B1610, there's a boom to assist the up and down movement of the cradle. You simply put the bag on the ground, open it out of, out of the box, you put the cradle inside the bag and you winch the cradle up and onto the tunnel. That's it. The bag stays on the cradle the whole time when you're bagging. There's two strap system. Right now we have one here, but there's a second one that runs here. And the purpose of these straps is one is to stop the bag from coming off all at once. The other is to stop grain from flowing by on the side of the tunnel. We can adjust these with ratchets down here on the on the bag pan and simply run them tight enough so that you can, if you wanted to, you could wiggle your fingers underneath them, but it is difficult to get them under there. That's how tight we run them when bagging. ProGrain equipment offers a transport port here just so that we can see the traffic behind us. The B1610 has a hitch at the back. It, it's here just to pull your transfer auger or conveyor. 